Thank you so much. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Ehe. Hiyo ni mzuri. Namshukuru Mungu wa mbinguni kwa sababu ya neema yake na rehema zake na kibali chake ukiniona ni mkono wa Jehova. Nabia jirani yako hivyo. Ukiona baba Jeri ni mkono wa Jehova. Ni mkono wa Jehova. Kama haujapata kuona if you, you don't have an example of how mkono wa Jehova unaweza fanya tazama baba Jeri. Bwana asifiwe sana. Nashukuru wewe pia kwa sababu ya kukata kauli ya kufika katika nyumba yake siku ya leo. Na ili Bwana akaweze kutunenea na ili Bwana akaweze kutuhudumia kwa sababu yeye ni mwaminifu siku zote. Bwana wetu asifiwe sana. Uh, siku ya leo kuna neno ambalo Bwana ameletia ndani ya moyo wangu na ni neno ambalo kwa neema yake Bwana na kwa nguvu zake Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu tutaenda kugawanya na nyinyi na ninaamini ya kwamba Bwana atatusaidia. Abia jirani yako Bwana atakusaidia. Mfalme katika nchi ya Israeli kuna mama mmoja aliyemkuwa mkamuendea akamwambia mfalme nisaidie na mfalme akamwambia kwamba mimi nitakusaidia namna gani ikiwa Jehova hatakusaidia mimi sina msaada kwa hivyo kile ambacho tunachokisema msaada wako uko kwa jina la Jehova Bwana wetu asiye sana sio ndugu yako sio masomo yako sio mume wako sio mali zako msaada wako uko kwa jina la Jehova Biblia inasema na magadi heri mtu ambaye tumaini lake ni, ni, ni jina la Jehova kama mtu kama yule ni kama mti umepandwa kando kando ya vijito vya maji na mti ule huwa unachanuka na kutoa mazao wakati na majira yote Bwana wetu asiye sana na laaniwe yule ambaye tumaini lake ameleka kwa wanadamu Bwana wetu asiye sana let us continue trusting on the name of the Lord. He is a strong tower. Eda nami in the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 and 2 and 3. In the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 and 3. That part of scripture will form our discussion today. The book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 and three. I'm reading from NIV version. Then the Lord replied. It's very key. Then. Ukiona the word then, kuna maneno alikuwa hapo mbele. And that is why sasa huyo mbebe nasema kupa. Then the Lord replied. Kwa hivyo maneno ambayo yako verse two and verse three na kuendelea ni maneno ya buwana. Buwana yetu wa sana. It is like he, the word replied, he is responding. He is answering some questions. Then the Lord replied, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may learn with it. Verse 3, for the revelation awaits an appointed time. It is peaks of the end and will not provoke force, though it linger wait for it it will certainly come and will not delay bwana wetu asiye sana ah nilipendezwa na 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 version new king james version na ilikuwa na maneno haya yakoba then the lord answered me then the lord answered me and said light the vision and make it plain on tablets that he may run who la who who may learn who reads it for the vision verse 3 is yet for an appointed time and the word is appointed time the other word in version uh, verse 2 uh, you make it you write that vision and make it but at the end of it but at the end it will speak and it will not lie though it tarries though it tarries wait for it one at was sana though it though it tarries but remember the uh, the element of appointed time though it tarries wait for it why because it will surely come it will not tarry it will surely 
though it tarries. You must uh, understand that. Though it tarries, it will surely come. Bwana yetu asiye sana. Na hapo ndipo uh, nikapata nikapa nikapa ujumbe kichwa ujumbe wangu siku ya leo we shall get there. Abia dia dirani yako. You shall get there. You shall Yes, uh, you shall get there. You shall get there. You shall get there. Siku ingine nikamwambia how I came to Nairobi, how I was the first day na siku za kwanza nilikuwa nikilala huko prison. Singeweza hata wakati mwingine tukilala tukapewa kitanda tukalala kwa kitanda kingine kana 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 shokelera hivi But today I can make a decision which kind of a bed I can We shall get We shall get You shall get there irrespective we shall get there Kwa nini na tukaamini na kusema ya kwamba on on sana nikasema ya kwamba kwa sababu mkono wa Jehova uko juu yetu sio kwa sababu ya jambo lingine we shall get there not because of any other thing no because kwa sababu mkono wa Jehova uko juu yetu bwana yetu asiye sana na ni vema kufahamu kwamba verse 2 uh, uh, from that uh, portion of scripture i'm about to make soma yabai nimesema kwamba have a vision another words have a prayer have a desire and that desire or that vision or that prayer they should be very clear na deposa anaambiwa kwamba write it in a plain tablets why so uh, in a plain uh, tablet na ili kwamba yule anayekimbia ako na uwezo wa kuona maono ambayo ameandika the element of clarity bwana yetu asiye sana yule mwanamke mchungaji atubwa akatufu, akatufundisha kwamba yule mchungaji alikuja hakumwambia ni poi ponya ponya mwanangu ponya mwanangu ah ah alimwambia ponya mwanangu kutokana na a b c the element of clarity bwana wetu asiye sana the element of clarity hilo hilo jambo unaloliomba unalifahamu vizuri unalielewa vizuri are you clear in your mind that that is what you need that that is what you desire verse 3 ikasema ya kwamba for the vision is yet for an appointed time na nikawambia kwamba underline the word appointed time why that is the element of time when we talk when the bible talks about appointed time it is talking about the set time when it talks about the set time it is that time that, that, that element of time in God's eyes bwana wetu asiye sana ah sijui ni kiwango cha nyakati katika macho yake bwana in the book of jeremiah 29 verse 10 biblia inasema kwamba wana wa israeli ipo kwa in the captivity wakaambiwa kwamba after 70 years after 70 Hata kama wangefanya chochote kile hawangeondoka katika captivity until the word of God comes to pass after 70 the element of time appointed appointed time kwa sababu wakati mwingi wa sisi kwa sababu wewe na mimi uh, wewe na mimi na Mungu sisi wanadamu na Mungu katika tunapotazama na nyakati tunaziona from a different perspective Kwa hivyo waweza kusema ya kwamba ni jambo ambalo Mungu amekusudia akakalileta katika maisha yako after 15 years after 10 years lakini jambo hilo limekupatia stress at the moment kwa sababu unahisikana kwamba hilo ndilo unalohitaji when the appointed time but the, the core word here it will surely it will surely yes we shall get there you shall get there irrespective irrespective kwa hivyo tunasema kwamba kwa Kiswahili tutafika 
Mimi sijui nitafika wakati upi, sijui nitafika namna gani, lakini kile ambacho ninachokiamini na kile ambacho ninachokifahamu ni ya kwamba nitashinda, nitafika. Mimi ni kama Daudi ninapomwendea Goliathu, ninajua huyu Goliathu nitaweza kumshinda. Na kile ambacho kinachonipomotisha ni kwa sababu nipo kuwa kichakani, nilipa wewe Bwana alinipa ushindi kwa sababu ya ushindi huo I have the power, I have the energy, I have the trust na niko na ule msu kumo i have the motivation to face tomorrow bwana wetu asiye sana kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba tutafika uta kwa sababu kuna mambo mengi ambayo tunayahitaji na tunayaomba na Mungu anafahamu kwa sababu biblia inasema ya kwamba even before you make the request i am I'm aware of that kwa hivyo the above scripture ni ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba ni maneno ambayo Mungu anayanena na anamnenea Habakuki. Kwa sababu tulitamana tutamana tukaona ya kwamba the, the, the Lord replied is a response. Unaposoma uh, the, the same same book of of Habakuk uh, chapter 1 verse 2 Biblia inasema ya kwamba Habakuki alikuwa na maswali mengi katika moyo wake. Na na, na jambo moja verse 1 Uh, ana, ana, ana jiuliza, he asked this is the words of Habakkuk how long Lord must I call for help je bwana nitaita nitakaa muda uga, kiasi gani bado nikiuita msaada but you do not listen or cry out to you violence 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 but you do not save bwana yetu asiye sana How do you maswali yaliyoko katika moyo wa Habakuki? Je, Bwana nitakuita, nitakutazamia, nitakungojea mpaka lini? Lakini bado nina kilio mbele zako. Nitalia mpaka lini eh Bwana? Nayo Na verse 2 anakuja kumwambia kwamba wewe Habakuki andika maono ulio nayo na uliandike vizuri. Hata kama yatachukua muda, shuari utafika. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Naweza kumlaumu mtu ambaye anaitwa Habakuki ukaanza kushangaa huyu jamaa ni vipi anaanza kuwa na, na tashwishi na Mungu Kuna mtu wa Mungu pia alijipata at that place ya kuuliza maswali kama hayo If you check your Bible from the book of Psalms 13 verse 1 and 2 the great man of God David abababona anasema ya kwamba I have found a man who is after my own heart lakini uh, the same same guy about Bwana anamtolea ushuhuda In the book of Psalms chapter 13 verse 1 Haya ndio maneno anayoyanena How long Lord will you forget me uh, How long Lord will you forget me forever Je Bwana kwani utanisahau milele yote How long will you hide your face from me ni mpaka lini Bwana utauficha uso wako kutokana na mimi? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? Bwana yetu asiye sana. Hayo maswali yawezekana yako ndani yako na yako ndani yako yangu siku ya leo. Ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba maswali haya ni watu wa Mungu waliomtarajia Bwana na wakamwoba Bwana lakini kwa sababu Bwana naye ni Mungu he responds the way he, de- he deems it fit. Kwa hivyo wanafika katika maeneo wanaanza kushangaa na kujiuliza je Bwana kwani ni mpaka lini nitakapo kuita Bwana na wewe nikana kwamba haumfa haunisiki. How many of us this morning they are in that kind of scenario nikana kwamba bingu ilinyamaza nikana kwamba mabingu haisiki hai waweza kuwa katika hali hiyo kwa hivyo tunaposoma maneno hayo tunajua ya kwamba kujipata katika maeneo hayo sio jambo uh, uh, geni sana lakini ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba na uh, kile ambacho utakacho kifukifua ukikifanya the kind of posture that you take when you come at that uh, level hiyo ndio ya muhimu sana Bwana wetu asiye sana Daudi akajipata hapo 
Lakini kuna posi ya fulani aliichukua na kuna mama mifano mingi ambayo tutakayo tutazama katika Biblia walijipata katika maeneo hayo ndio walikuwa na changamoto ndio walikuwa na hitaji ndio walikuwa na maombi mbele zake bwana lakini hata kama ni hivyo there are is a dada, certain posture that they took ambayo iliwapatia motisha ya kuendelea bwana yetu asiye sana maybe you could be in our business and those are some of the questions that are going through in your mind nikana kwa babingu ni nyama nimekuja kukuambia kwamba bingu hakuna wakati imenyamaa bwana wetu asiye sana na ukiona kama bingu imenyamaa it is very busy preparing for you tunapoenda katika hoteli na tunaingia na tunakaa wakati mwingine waweza kukuja kusema kwamba huu hao wazee ni kana kwamba hawana hawana jaa ni kana kwamba wamesahaulika ni kana kwamba hawataki kura na hiki ungefahamu bali wakati tulipofika katika hoteli tulimuagiza tuandali we machopo chopo aina haya ama maankuri mahana aina haya na kuna ulapo tuona katika meza tumeketi there is somebody somewhere ana tushurukia bwana yetu asiye sana it's just a matter of time zao za mata kile ambacho tutawekelewa hapa kwa meza utakishangaa hivyo ndivyo ilivyo kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo pengine hatuoni kile ambacho bingu inachofanya waweza kujipata katika maeneo hayo. Lakini the question is how do you behave well you are at that point. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Ama toweza kujipata katika maeneo yale na tunapojipata katika maeneo yale kama mtu ambaye anaitwa Ayubu pamoja na mke wake baba mambo ambayo nao mpata Ayubu how a, a job is bordered ndembele nasema kwamba yeye akainama kifundifundi na kaana za kumwabudu Bwana naye mke on the other hand anamwambia kwamba si mtu mtu si Mungu na muachane na yeye wamepatikana na jabu moja lakini how they respond is very different and the moment of the way you respond it also determines the outcome bwana wetu asiye sana waweza kujipata kama maeneo kama yale because of your personal or family vision because of your prayer or desire that you have been trusting god for there could be a prayer item that you have been trusting god for all this time na nikana kwamba Uh, Mungu hajaweza ku There could be doors, kuna mambo, kuna milango, kuna mambo biashara, kuna kuna mambo ambayo unamuoba Bwana aingilie kati. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Na nikana kwamba bingu haija respond. Pengine una karama katika huduma yako, katika ufalme wa binguni, unaomba Bwana, si Bwana umingeni uniinue katika kiwango hiki, katika hali ya kukutumikia, lakini bado ni kana kwamba bingu is not responding. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Hauko peke yako ndugu na dada yangu. Hapa kuku alikuwa pahali pale. Daudi akakoa kapahali pale na how they responded is very key how we are going to respond is very key uh, so jehova na mungu ana anapo uh, uh, muandikia habakuku anamwambia kwamba like the vision and make it plain on tablets though it tarries wait for it because it will surely come na nimeweza kufahamu kwamba tunapo fika pahali pale kama vile nimetangulia kusema how we behave is very key how we carry our self is very key kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba there are key attitudes that will keep us moving as demonstrated by various characters in the bible there are key attitudes ambazo wewe na mimi tukizivaa tutaendelea kutali kwa sababu watu wana wa Israeli walipoambiwa 70 years wengine walifikiria kwamba na hata manabii wa, wakatokea na wakaanza kuambia kwamba a hata hata msijishughulishe bwana anakuja hakai sana lakini on the other end Jeremiah anawaambia kwamba mjenge manyumba hata mfanye binti zenu na vijana wanyu waoane kwa sababu amtakaa katika nchi ya utumwa. Kwa hivyo ni kusema ya kwamba how we behave in that kind of situation is very key. It determines the results. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Kuna mfano ambao ningependa mifano kama minne ama mitatu ambao tungetazama how the 
those kabibu characters wali wali ni nini hicho kiwapa motisha ya kuendelea at the appointed time hiyo usisahau appointed time that is godly time wakati wa Mungu mtu wa kwanza ni ni Yesu in the book of Matthew chapter 26 that is 6 and 43 wakati ambapo the whole of that portion of scripture ni pale ambapo Yesu amekamata na amepelekwa Gethsemane lakini ana ana uh, anaambia ana, ana, ana beba wanafunzi wake uh, Petero and the two sons of Zebedee na wanaenda nao wanaenda kuomba na wanapoenda kuomba anawaambia kwamba salia msalia hapa na mimi nienende na kabla aendele kwa awaache awa anawaambia kwamba uh, he began to be troubled and sorrowful moyo wake unakuwa ni mzito moyo wake unakuwa unahuzunika na anawaambia my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of uh, to the point of death Ma, moyo wake umehuzunika na umeenda chini kwa sababu ya kile kilichoko mbele zake na anawaambia kwamba stay here and keep watch with me mkae hapa muendelee kuomba pamoja nami na mimi ninaenda mbele zake bwana usiwasie sana na anapoenda mbele zake bwana anaoba my father if it is possible may this cup be taken from me yet not as i will but as you will my father ukumbuke ni mtu ambaye anasema ya kwamba his heart is troubled his heart is full of sorrow lakini anapoenda mbele zake mungu anamwambia kwamba mungu wa mbinguni ninaomba kikombe hiki kiondolewe mbele zangu lakini sio kwa ma, sio lakini sio lakini sio kwa mapenzi yangu bali ni kwa mapenzi yako you are will bwana wetu asiwe sana na hapo ndipo tunasema ya kwamba ya, yeye Yesu hata kama alikuwa katika hali hiyo yeye he allowed the will of the father to prevail mapenzi ya Mungu yakaweze kufanya kazi katika maisha yetu kwa sababu wakati mwingine tuna ma, tuna ule msukumo lazima nipate hii lazima hiki kifanyike na tunazuia mapenzi ya Mungu yakaweze kufanyika na tunapoazuia mapenzi ya Mungu tunajiingiza na tunajipata katika shimo ambalo wana wa Israeli walipojipata in the book of first samuel chapter 8 pale ambapo wakasema ya kwamba si utuchagulie mfalme tufanane na nchi kama zingine na mataifa mengine sio mayari kwa mapenzi ya Mungu wawe na mfalme lakini wakajiingiza katika kuwa na mfalme bwana wetu asiwe sana na mzigo uliofuatia ulikuwa ni mzigo mzito kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba one of the attitude that we need to cultivate and embrace in this kind of season it is an attitude of saying oh lord let your will be done bwana wetu asiwe sana let your will be done mapenzi yako bwana na yatengeke we must allow the will of god to prevail in our lives wakati mmoja nilijipata katika maeneo kama hayo kuna wakati nilikuwa nikitaka kuuza gari before that was either to, uh, kitambo na you have that push ya kuuza na unataka kuuza lakini wateja unawapata na sure enough tukapata nikapata wateja kama wawili wa na wengine hata wakakuja mpaka wakaiona na wakasema hii gari ni mzuri na nini na nini so on that day i'm coming to tumalizane sasa kama mwanadamu by the way i was very down lakini kuna kitu kimoja sijui kilitoka hoya nikakumbuka when we were praying we were saying if it is your will oh lord tupate ma- mteja wa hii gari by the way hiyo studio ilini save otherwise nilikuwa nimeona kana kwamba Mungu is not responding kwa hivyo kile ambacho tunachokisema ni kwamba lazima tufahamu ya kwamba tuache sehemu let your will be done bwana wetu asiye sana let your will let your will be done That is the only way if we cultivate that kind of an attitude ya kwamba tunapohitaji ndio ninahitaji bwana aninue katika kiwango hii bwana ndio ninahitaji bwana anibariki katika kiwango hii ndio ninahitaji bwana aniongoze anibariki katika maeneo haya lakini ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba hata kama niko na ule msukumo i must have a point ama 
a space pale ambapo tunasema kwamba let your will be done. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Let your will let your will be done. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu he is our father. He understands that what is good for us as his sons. Kwa hivyo ni vema kufahamu kwamba lazima to cultivate that uh, attitude of say uh, na kusema kwamba let your will be done. Kwa hivyo Yesu Kristo akajisalimisha na akapitia katika kifo cha uchungu na aibu na mateso hata kama yeye mwenyewe katika mawazo yake na moyo wake pengine angeona kana kwamba hangestahili kukipitia lakini he submitted himself to the will of God. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba wewe na mimi hatuna budi we need to submit ourselves to the will of God. On Friday tukao tukasema tukafundishwa ya kwamba ya kwamba yeye ndiye anayeongoza hatua zetu na ikiwa ni yeye anayetuongoza hatua zetu hivyo ni kusema ya kwamba hata kama atatuongoza na kutuingiza kabari ambapo kunaonekana kana kwamba hakuna milango ikiwa ni yeye ametuongoza na tuko chini ya mapenzi yake yeye mwenyewe atafungua milango Bwana yetu asiye sana tutakapokuwa katika jangwa na wakati mwingine hakuna maji tunashikwa na kiu kwa sababu yeye ni yeye aliyetuongoza katika jangwa jangwa lile na tuko chini ya mapenzi yake yeye mwenyewe kwa sababu ni Jehova atachimbua kisima Bwana wetu asiye sana whenever we commit ourselves to the will of God na whenever we commit ourselves to the will of God sio kama ushaona mtu una unatupa this uh, hii tunaitaga idhangu reef eh tawi tawi yes Uki, ukiweka tawi kwa kwa maji ambayo yanatiririka what happens Yes. Does tawi struggle to flow? Does it struggle to flow? That is what happens. Whenever we align ourselves to the will of God, we shall not struggle. We shall not struggle. The questions that you are having in your mind, hata kabla zingie katika mawazo yako, answers are there. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Why? Kwa sababu tutatiririka na mapenzi yake bwana. Kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba when we are at that point let your will be done. Let your will na sio kusema tu we must surrender to the will of God. We must surrender to the will of God. In everything we do, all our families, our lives, let us surrender to the will of God. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Kuna mtu mwingine ambaye anaitwa Paulo the attitude of embracing the grace of God the attitude of embracing the grace of God Huyu ni mtumishi wa Bwana anaitwa Paulo na nakumbuka unakumbuka vile alivyofanyika in the book of Acts chapter 9 na akabadilika na anapotembea na kufanya kazi kwa sababu alikuwa ametumwa kwenda kupeleka ijiri katika mataifa Uh, unapata ya kwamba Paulo ni mmoja wale ambao walipitia katika changa moto nyingi. Lakini in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 8 and 9 kuna neno ambalo analolifanya na anasema ya kwamba katika mwili wake kulikuwa na mwiba. Na mwiba huo haukuwa na ukimpa amani kama vile wewe na mimi siku ya leo kuna haja na hitaji na ombi na maono ambayo wakati mwingine unaona kana kwamba hayakupi amani lakini biblia inasema ya kwamba paulo wa biblia inasema ya kwamba aya nane na tisa paul pleaded with god three times to remove the thorn that was in his flesh but god responded by saying God responded by sin. Our God is a God who responds. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Mungu wetu ni Mungu anayejibu. Mungu wetu sio bari. Mungu wetu sio dagoni. Yeye ni Jehova. Aliposikia kilio cha wana wa Israeli walipokuwa katika nchi ya Misri, yeye akasikia kilio chao na yeye akusikia tu na akaketi 
eti ila alisikia na akaondoka alipoombwa na mtumishi wake bwana Jeremia katika mlima wa Karmeli hakusikia tu bali alisikia na akashuka akateketeza dhabihu kwa hivyo kile ambacho tunachokisema Mungu ambaye tumemwamini ambaye jina lake ni ngome imara watakatifu wake wanaporikimbilia wanapata usalama yeye ni Jehova yeye anasikia dua za wanae na ripota anasema namna gani ni iteni nami nitakuitika nitakuonyesha mambo ambayo ni makubwa yale ambayo hajafikiria hata kuyawaza bwana yetu asiye sana kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba he is a god who responds we must have that attitude he is a god who he is a god who responds so god responded by saying my grace is sufficient for you my grace is sufficient for you even in this season that you are going through my brother and my sister uh, my sister the grace of the lord god almighty is sufficient for you bwana wetu asiye sana neema yake mungu inekutosha hakuna jambo lingine hakuna jambo litakalo kuangamiza kwa nini kwa sababu neema yake bwana imekutosha that grace the grace ambayo tunanena juu yake that grace that we are talking about uh, about it uh, that is the dynamic power of god it is the dynamic power of god that keeps us going bwana wetu asiye sana when we talk about the grace of god it is the dynamic power of god ni nguvu za kiungu nguvu za kiungu zinazo kusaidia wewe kuendelea ni nguvu za kiungu zinazo kusaidia wewe kusimama ni nguvu za kiungu zinazo kuinua bwana wetu asiye sana mambo mengine hatuwezekani hata pasipo neema hii kwa hivyo when we talk about the grace of god we are talking about the dynamic power of god and that I man, uh, uh, and we cannot talk the dynamic power of god outside the person of the holy spirit bwana wetu asiye sana kwa hivyo kile ambacho tunachokisema uh, uh, kutupa msukumo wa kuendelea ni nguvu za kiungu na, na paulo akafa, akafahamu hivyo na akakiri na akasema kwamba in the book of first corinthians chapter 5 15 verse 9 and 10 akasema for i am the is i am the is of the of, of the apostles I even I do not deserve to be called an apostle. I am the least. Ukiniona hivi, mimi ndio wa chini sana. Because I, I persecuted the charge of God. Verse then, but I am the least, yes. I am not worthy to be called a, an apostle, yes. I persecuted the charge, yes. But when you see the, uh, the amount of work that I have done, don't credit that work to me basteni inajibu na anasema ya kwamba but the grace of god bwana wetu asiye sana but the grace of god i am what i am kwa hivyo wewe na mimi lazima tufike pahali pa kusema ya kwamba niko vile nilivyo sio kwa sababu ya jambo lingine bali kwa sababu ya neema yake bwana na anasema ya kwamba and his grace to me was not without effect neema he the dynamic power of god when it comes to us sio kitu tu kitakuja na kiache na kiache kana kwamba hakuna arama no anasema ya kwamba and his grace to me was not without effect no i work harder than all of them alifanya kazi na bidii kuliko wale wengine lakini anasema ya kwamba yet not i which is very key yet not i Dio mtaona nimefanya ma, nimepana makanisa makopo kwa wapare Filipi hata Korintho hata wapare nime Romi nimeenda na nimehubiri ijiri hii lakini vema kufahamu ya kwamba there was a dynamic power of God that was pushing me the grace of God Bwana wetu asiye sana kwa hivyo ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba wakati wowote wote tunapotazamia Bwana atu, at, uh, atushughulikie tunapomtazamia Bwana aachilie uh, aachilie uh, baraka zake juu ya maisha yetu tunapomuomba Bwana lazima tuelewe ya kwamba na tumuombe ya kwamba atupe neema because it is only the grace of God 
ambayo itatupa msukumo na kuacha ku behave kama mke wa Ayubu. By the grace of God that was me. Anasema ya kwamba sio mimi. That grace was not without effect. That grace as much as I worked hard kuna mkono wa neema ulifanya kazi. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Kwa hivyo ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba hata ndugu na dada yangu tunapofanya shughuli zozote zile katika katika maisha haya lolote unalolifanya lazima ufahamu ya kwamba you can do nothing apart from me from the book of John chapter 15 verse 5b Biblia inasema ya kwamba apart from me you can do nothing apart the grace of God apart the heart of God apart the wisdom of God apart the knowledge of God there is nothing that we can do apart the dynamic power of God there is nothing we can do. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Kwa hivyo ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba lazima tuamini na tuombe tujue ya kwamba sisi tutazikipokea kile ambacho tunachomtarajia Bwana sio kwa sababu ya jambo lingine kwa sababu neema ya Bwana ndio itakaye tubeba. The attitude of appreciating the grace of God. In the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16 Mwandishi wa kitabu hiki anasema ya kwamba let us then ikiwa ni hivyo we have a dynamic uh, 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 dynamic power of god ambayo itatupa msukumo huu na kutupa na nafasi nzuri ya kugojea kwa sababu biblia inatuambia kwamba it shall not tarry at the appointed time it shall cash, it shall certainly come kile ambacho kitakacho tusukuma Biblia in the book of Hebrews chapter 4:16 anamwandisha akasema ya kwamba let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need kwa hivyo ni kusema ya kwamba wewe na mimi tumeitwa na tumealikwa kwenda mbele ya kiti cha rehema chake Mungu ili tukapokee neema ya kutusaidia wakati ambapo tunapohitaji. Kwa hivyo ni kusema ya kwamba katika safari hii na katika muondoko huu tutakuwa na mahitaji na tutakuwa tukihitaji each and every moment and the only thing that will keep us going ni hiyo neema. Is the grace and the mercies of God. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Kwa hivyo ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba even before uingie katika maeneo ya kunungunika na kuteta have you sought the grace of God have you sought the grace of God the grace of God is sufficient the grace of God is available the grace of God is greatly there and it is it is only available the word is let us let us bwana wetu asiye sana let us that is a connotation you have a responsibility you have a role to play kwa hivyo neema hii imeachiliwa na hivyo ndivyo huwa anatoa mfano wakati wote unapohitaji kuoga wakati ambapo unaingia bathroom huwa tunaweka shawa na inamimina maji wewe ndiwe unachukua hatua wa kuondoka na kwenda sio atima shawa ndio inasoka pali ulioko raasha ila ni wewe unachukua hatua na unasimama pali ambapo maji yanatiririka that is the same same scenario until you take a step of faith na uende de bere za kiti cha enzi na muambie bwana nimekuja dhuhuri ya leo ninaomba unipe neema yeye ni mwaminifu bwana wetu asiye sana but before you take that step nothing will happen bwana wetu asiye sana nothing will in the book of Ephesians chapter 2 8 and 9 inasema namna gani we have been saved by the grace through faith there is always El, uh, your element there is always your portion there is always my portion kwa hivyo ni siku ya leo tunapomtazamia bwana na tunapomgojea bwana kwa sababu yeye anakuja kutuingiza katika maeneo ambayo mchungaji siku moja ndio na, na, na jambo hilo nitakwa shida nikilisema each and every day uh, bulletin ya january 10 this year Mchungaji akaambia akasema kwamba uh, Mungu anatuingiza uh, in a great revival. Na tukaona ya kwamba revival, restoration, re-energizing. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Another day akasudia maneno in the same same 
alipokuwa akituombea hapa ya kwamba Bwana he is ushering us in a new season a season of abundance Bwana yetu asiwe sana na ni mema kufahamu ya kwamba mambo hayo hayatatokea until we push uh, how do we push by the grace of god Bwana yetu asiwe sana Dio maneno ya tata tutakuwa tukisema uh, mtumishi wa Bwana alitunenea alitutabiria Bwana anatuingiza katika maeneo ya kuenenda na ukuu mkubwa na baraka za Mungu mingi na kibali cha Mungu na neema ya Bwana na ishara na miujiza zitatuadama hiyo tu ndio itakayokuwa ni historia lakini sasa ni chetu tuchukue hatua na tumwambie Bwana tunataka kuingiza katika kuingia katika maeneo yale even as we uh, push on the only thing that will gi- give us the ability to uh, to be ushered into that dimension is the grace of god one at the same is the grace of and that is why the bible says let us approach tuzongee mbele ya kiti chake cha neema na ili tukaipokee neema na itakutupokee rehema zake bwana why without the grace of god there is nothing that we can do Without the grace of God nothing will take place in your ma- in your in your life. Nothing will take place even in our in my life. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Number three. Another attitude that we need to cultivate as we are waiting for the appointed time. The attitude of righteousness the attitude of righteousness uteua na utakatifu we are talking about the holy god we are awaiting a response from a holy god tunamtazamia mungu ambaye ni mtakatifu tunamwa tunamsubiri mungu ambaye ni mtakatifu na tunagojea ma, majibu kutoka kwa mungu aliye mtakatifu haivyo hakuna hatuna budi sisi ambaye tunaenda mbele zake tuwe watakatifu be holy why because I am holy the book of Leviticus Bwana wetu asiye sana. Kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba that is an attitude ambayo mtu ambaye anaitwa Yusufu alikuwa nayo an attitude of righteousness uteua Genesis 35 verse 5 up to, up to 11 Genesis 35 verse 5 up to 11 it is an account of Joseph's dream where he saw the sun and the moon and the 11 stars bowing down to him na baada ya kunena doto hili kwa dugu zake dugu zake wakawa na wivu out of his brothers jirasi akauzwa katika nchi ya misri na alipouzwa katika nchi ya misri akanunuliwa na mmoja wa wakuu katika nchi ile ambayo inaitwa potifa in genesis 39 Tunapata ya kwamba Potiphar's wife tempted Joseph to sin with her. But Joseph responded. Ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba huyu uh, uh, Yusufu ameota na ako na maono kwa hivyo kuna pahali Mungu anampeleka. Kuna maeneo Bwana anataka kumuinua. Na Genesis 39 tunaona ya kwamba mke wa uh, Potifa anamuingiza anamwekea ana, ana mtego. Lakini uh, Yusufu this is how he responded. How then could I do such a wicked thing and sin against God? How then could I do such a wicked thing and sin against God? Bwana wetu asiye sala. Kwa hivyo ni vema kufahamu kwamba tunapoendelea kusubiri Bwana, tunapoendelea kumtazamia Bwana, tunapoendelea kumgojea Bwana, lazima we must cultivate the attitude of righteousness. Uteua. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu ni vema kufahamu kwamba wakati ambapo tuko na hitaji sana na tunaona kana kwamba hitaji hilo tunalihitaji sana, that is the, the, the uh, uh, that is the pri- very prime time that the devil strikes Bwana wetu asiye. Wakati ambapo uh, hii hitaji lazima li, li, uh, nilipate. Hii hitaji ninaona kama ninalihitaji sana. At that point the devil starts strikes at our weakest point. Do not compromise. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Do not 
to tomorrow compromise. Ni watu wengi sana wamepoteza doto zao na maeno yao even they are calling. Na mambo mengi yamepotea sio kwa sababu ya jambo lingine hawakuwa na ile subira wakajiingiza katika dhambi. Wakajiingiza katika dhambi. Kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba sin short circuits our destinies or blessings. Kuna baraka ambazo Bwana alikuwa ameachilia. Kuna maono kama kama unabii ambao umetolewa ya kwamba Bwana anatuingiza katika maeneo ya utele. Huo ni unabii kutokana na Bwana. Kwa hivyo lazima ili tuweze kuingia katika maeneo hayo, lazima tuzingatie uteua. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu yule ambaye ameahidi katika unabii ule, yeye ni mwaminifu. Yule ambaye anayekuja kutimiza unabii ule, yeye ni mwaminifu. Kwa hivyo sisi as the recipient of that uh, prophecy, lazima tu we waaminifu hapo ndipo tunasema ya kwamba sin short circuit our destinies or blessings bwana yetu asiwe sana sin na na mambo hayo yamepatikana in, in the uh, katika biblia in the book uh, in the book of numbers chapter 25 verse 9 tunaona wana wa israeli biblia verse 9 inasema ya kwamba 24000 of israelites died at Shittim after indulging in sexual immorality. Kwa hivyo utaposoma Genesis uh, Numbers chapter 25 from verse 1 kuendelea utaona that account how the Israelites indulged na wakaingiliana na mataifa waliokuwa karibu na wao. Na neno la Bwana likasema ya kwamba walipoingiliana mataifa yale wakaingia katika uzizi na neno la Bwana anasema ya kwamba siku ile 24000 na ni vema kufahamu kwamba these 24000 ni wale wana wa Israeli waliokuwa na ahadi pale Misri walipoambiwa na Musa ya kwamba nimemsikia sauti ya Bwana Mungu wenu Mungu wa Ibrahimu Isaka na Yakobo na amenituma mimi nije ni waokoe atawapeleka katika nchi ya ahadi kwa hivyo these 24000 walikuwa na hiyo ahadi Bwana wetu asiwe sana walikuwa na hiyo ahadi na wale, na hata walipokuwa wakishtoka pale walikuwa wakisherehekea tuko na tuko na tunaenda tunaenda tunaingia katika nchi ambayo inatiririka maziwa na asali Jehova anatuingiza pale lakini along the way they committed sin Bwana wetu wasio sana hata kama walikuwa na haja sana kuona asali na maziwa hata kama walikuwa na haja sana kuenda kusherehekea baraka zile in the promised land hawakuingia sio kwa sababu ya jambo lingine sio kwa sababu Jehova hakuwa na uwezo sio kwa sababu haja Jehova alikuwa amebadilisha mawazo yake raasha it is because they indulge themselves with sexual immoralities bwana wetu wasio sana kwa hivyo ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba hata wakati tunapotazamia Bwana atushughulikie a, 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 a lazima we must activate an attitude of righteousness. In the book of Exodus chapter 32 ni pali ambapo wana wa Israeli wako chini ya mlima wa Sinai na Musa alikuwa amepanda na Musa anaposhuka anakuta ya kwamba Haroni pamoja na nchi ya wana wa Israeli wametengeneza mfano wa dama wametengeneza mfano wa dama na kwa sababu ya hivyo 3000 of them died bwana tu sasa 3000 of them died na 3000 of them they are uh, ni, wa, ni, ni baadhi ya wale waliokuwa wamepokea unabii waliokuwa wamepokea taarifa ya kwamba tunaenda katika nchi ya hadi but the way they carry themselves na diposa watu wanakuja na mwambia Haruni wanamwambia kwamba si Haruni ututengenezee Mungu wadama yule aliyetutoa Israeli kwa sababu this Pharaoh Moses sijui ni nini kilichofanyika kwa sababu walikuwa pale wamekaa pale wanagojea Musa atoke mlimani kwa sababu walikuwa wamewaambia kwamba nimeitwa na Jehova nikachopokea taarifa wa baada ya Musa kukaa katika mlimani wao wagadhevuka udhevuka sijui ni kufaa nini mnisaidie yes walikosa subira thank you so much wakakosa subira wakaambia Haruni ya kwamba tutengenezee dama na walipomtengenezea dama hiyo ikawa ni mlango wao of 3000 of them wakamalizika bwana wetu sana 
Kwa hivyo kile ambacho tunachokisema waweza kuwa haukuenda kuzini election mradi kama wa, wale wa, wa, kama wana Israeli uh, pale shiki lakini kuna miungu mingine umejiinulia kuna madhabahu mengine umeenda uh, ume, uh, uh, umeenda kutafuta msaada wake umemuita bwana umeobewa na hata pia umemwamini bwana lakini ni kana kwamba bwana hakuji unaenda kuinua madhabahu mengine unaenda kutafuta msaada pahali pengine unaenda kuuliza maswali pengine pasipo kuuliza bwana bwana yetu asiwe sana kuna mtu wa bwana mtumishi wa bwana hana mwanabebe anasema namna gani mwaka baada ya mwaka yeye ienda shiro kumuomba bwana bwana yetu asiwe sana Hata kama mwaka hii yote hakupokea yeye hakugairi hakuondoka na kwenda kutafuta msaada ikiwa ni siku zetu watu usiku ambazo tunazo zishi tunapokaa na kuona kana kwamba mambo ni kama ya kwamba hayaendi vile yanavyoenda mtu anaenda kujitafutia unasikia watu wakisema ya kwamba kwa kigiriki kwa kigiriki tunasema nikia ugi nikia uhekima But when we find when you find yourself at that point you are exposing yourself like those uh, Israelites uh, the community of Israel expose themselves Bwana wetu asiye sana Kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba tunapokaa katika hali ya kumtazamia Bwana kungojea Bwana we must cultivate an attitude of righteousness An attitude of righteousness uteua na wakati mwingine nikaambia wa, kanisa la la Ruai nikawaambia kwamba siku ambazo tunazoziishi ni siku ambazo watu hata hawana hawana aibu hawana hawana ule uh, sijui ni ni, 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 uh, ni gunyerere sijui unasikia uh, jambo hilo hautalifanya kwa sababu hutaki kumudhi bwana lakini siku ambazo tunazoziishi dhambi zimebatizwa majina na ma, na ma good very fancy names lakini kawaambia kwamba Mungu yule ambaye ni Jehova yeye ambaye aliyetembea na wana wa Israeli ambaye hangeweza kustahimili dhambi he is the same same god bwana wetu asiye sana hajabadilika hata kama yeye amejawa na neema when it comes to sin he deals to a sin bwana wetu asiye sana lakini vema kufahamu kwamba tunapolitia jina la Jehova kama vile mtumishi wa Bwana Samueli uh, uh, Daudi alipo alipopatikana katika uh, katika shimo wakati alipojipata katika maeneo na Bethsheba Biblia inasema kwamba yeye akamwelekea Jehova in the Psalms uh, 51 unaona ya kwamba uh, mtumishi wa Bwana Daudi anamlitia Bwana analitia jina la Bwana na Bwana akamrejesha Bwana wetu asiye sana kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba katika hali hizi chochote ambacho unachomtumainia bwana we must cultivate an attitude of righteousness an attitude of righteousness outside right righteousness don't expect mtu wanne watu wanne ni wa number 4 is Joshua and Caleb Joshua and Caleb they had a great attitude ambayo pia yaweza kutusaidia tunapoangojea na kumsubiri Bwana atuingize in our areas of abundance and, and that, that that one I'm calling an attitude of if the Lord is pleased with us that is the attitude that we need to cultivate if the lord ikiwa bwana anapendezwa wa nami ikiwa bwana inampendeza bwana wetu asiye sana in the book of numbers chapter 13 numbers chapter 13 there is an account of 12 spies and they are report ni pale ambapo mtumishi wa bwana Musa amewatuma wapelelezi wawili waende wakapelelezi nchi ambayo bwana aliwapia na, 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 na katika that numbers uh, chapter 13 unaona ya kwamba wameleta mataarifa kulingana na vile walioiona nchi ambayo waliokuwa wakienda kuitazama na bibi anasema ya kwamba 10 of those spies they say that they saw wakasema ya kwamba tuliona Ukisoma vizuri utaona kwamba wakasema nchi tuliyoiendea ni nchi nzuri iko na maziwa iko na matuda hata baadhi ya matuda yake ndiyo haya 
Baada ya kumaliza that statement wanasema yakoba but we saw but we saw but we but we saw what did they did they say they saw fortified cities they saw descendants of anak they saw a lad that divorced people they seemed like grasshopper in their own eyes ukisoma the last part of numbers chapter 13 inasema ya kwamba we seemed like grasshoppers in their own eyes na hivyo ndivyo walivyo tuona they saw bwana wetu asiye sana in your situation and challenge you are, you are going through what are you seeing what are you why because what you are seeing it is going to inform your decision what you are seeing is going to inform your action they saw descendants of anak they saw a lad that divorced people they saw uh, they seemed like grasshoppers in their own eyes Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba hivyo ndivyo walivyoonekana. Na nikushangaze ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba the way you see yourself consciously or unconsciously that is how you behave. Enda tu fanya research. The way you see yourself it has a great impact in you. Kwa hivyo wana hawa kumi, those spies walipojiona kama panzi. Biblia inasema ya kwamba na hivyo ndivyo adui wao walivyo waona. Sio kwamba waliokuwa panzi, sio kwamba adui zao waliwaona kama panzi. Raacha, wao wenyewe ndio walitangulia na kujiona kama panzi. How are you seeing yourself? In the book of Numbers chapter 14 Bible na uh, uh, aya kwanza inatangulia kwamba kwa sababu wameleta wame ripoti nyingi wameleta taarifa nyingi hatuwezi kwenda huko nchi hiyo hata iko na fortified days nchi hiyo iko na watu wakubwa nchi hiyo hatuwezi wale watu wanaokaa pale waweza hata kuwa, kutula lakini Joshua la, 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 lakini number chapter for, uh, 14 that's number 14 Oh, 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 wa, baada ya kupokea taarifa hiyo that report made the whole community of Israel to raise their voices and wept loudly that night usiku huo wakaanza kulia wakaanza kunungunika wakaanza kuteta wakiuliza bwana wakiuliza Musa si wewe tulikuambia afadhali tungekaa katika nchi ya Misri pale ambapo tulikuwa tukikula nyama pale ambapo tulikuwa tunakula marenge pale ambapo unataka kusema kwamba nchi ya Misri hakukuwa na na na, 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 na nchi ambao tungezikwa sasa ulituleta katika jangwa hili ili tufie na ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba Mungu alipo respond to the cry akamwambia mtumishi wake bwana Musa ya kwamba watu hawa hata kama kwa sababu uh, alikusudia kuwamaliza lakini Bwana Musa uh, he inter, inter, uh, interceded for them Bwana akamwambia kwamba kile ambacho kimetoka katika kidinywa vyao hivyo ndivyo itakavyotendeka wamesema ya kwamba wakufie jangwani sure enough hivyo ndivyo itakavyotokea they said that they should choose a leader and go back to Egypt wakasema hata tuchague kiongozi aturudishe Misri. Kwa sababu dio kuna nchi ya hali tumeahidiwa. Kuna nchi ambayo inamiminika ma, ma, maziwa na asari. Lakini katika hali ambazo tunazo ni kama hii nchi tunapoenda ni kama inaenda ikisonga. Yawezekana hata na wewe hali na haja ambayo unayoyombea ni kana kwamba the more you pray about that thing dio inakaa kama inasonga songa. Kwa hivyo waweza kujipata katika maeneo kama haya kama ambayo walipata taifa la wana wa Israeli wakajiona kama pazi wakaona kana kwamba afadhali tungekufia pale Misri unataka kusema ya kwamba hakukuwa na pale ambapo tungezikwa wewe ulituleta katika nyika hii tuangamizwe na sure enough wakaangamia Bwana wetu asiye sana Lakini kuna mtumishi mbwa kuna watu wawili but Joshua and Caleb they had a different attitude. Dio. Si ya kwamba hawakuona fortified city. Si ya kwamba hawakuona wana anaki. Si ya kwamba hawakuona maji. 
sio kwamba mambo yale ambayo watu hawa kumi na hawa wapelelezi hawa kumi wanasema ni ya uongo raasha ni ukweli na ukweli mtupu that is a fact but they chose they chose bwana wetu wasio sana they chose to see the uh, the kindness of the lord wakaamua tu na wakasema ya kwamba if the lord is pleased kwa sababu wali walijaribu wali kuwatuliza ukisoma that numbers chapter 14 utaona ya kwamba uh, wanajaribu kuwatuliza wana hey, uh, tulieni 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 lakini wanaona wanamwambia wana, wana kwamba if the lord is pleased with us if the lord is pleased with us he will lead us into that land a land flowing with milk and honey and will give it to us bwana wetu asiye sana If the la if the Lord is if the Lord is if the Lord is pleased with us if the Lord is pleased with you what kind of an attitude are you having today what kind of an attitude are you having what kind of uh, uh, what are you telling na siku moja mchungaji akaandika na katoa kauliza ya kwamba what are you telling yourself kwa sababu it's very key ni nini hicho unachojiambia na ni nini hicho unachokiona kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba katika maeneo haya tunapomsubiri Bwana atuingize katika maeneo mengine atufungulie milango mingine atubariki katika njia fulani lazima we must cultivate an attitude of saying if the lord is pleased with us Bwana wetu asiye sana if the lord is pleased na nivema dugu na dada yangu tujihadhari sana tusiingie na katika mtego wa kulalamika tusiingie katika mtego wa kulalamika. Why? Kwa sababu waweza kulalamika, kwa sababu ya mambo fulani na ngube kwa kwa Kigiriki huwa tunasema ya kwamba gai dali idheru. Mungu Mungu hana Mungu hana mzaha. Mungu hana mzaha. Na ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba waweza kufikiria maneno mengine umeasema kama ulikuwa umeomba ni kufunga useme hayo tu ndio Bwana yanayoyasikia raasha lazima ni ya kwamba tulipookoka tumefanyika wana wa Mungu sisi ni wana wa Mungu sisi ni makuhani na ikiwa sisi ni makuhani bingu siku zote 24/7 365 days it is attentive into what we are speaking Bwana wetu asiye sana kama vile mzazi yoyote mwanao aki, akiwa wanacheza hapo kwa viti na kurukaruka na anasema ya kwamba baba si utununulie uh, inaitwa pizza any father or any mother hata hat, kama watoto hao walikuwa kicheza he will not or she will not take that request literally ukweli ama si ukweli is it true hakuwa hakuja kukuomba lakini walikuwa wakicheza tu wakikibizana wakasema tu mtu tu akahangoka akasema baba utunulie pizza any father atafanya hivyo that is the same same case scenario when it comes to our relation with ship with our father kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba maneno yanayotoka ndani ya vinywa vyetu irrespective of the situations waweza kujikaranga kama hawana wa Israeli walivyojikaranga wakasema ya kwamba uh, 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 ulitureta tufie hapa nyikani na sure enough all of them died in the wilderness si kwamba bwana alikusudia kuwamaliza raasha si kwamba bwana hakuwa na uwezo wa kuokoa raasha si kwamba ahadi ya bwana ilikuwa imefika mwisho raasha lakini kile ambacho kiliwazuia kufika na kuingia katika nchi ya, ya, ya hadi ni maneno yaliyotoka ndani ya vinywa vyetu kwa hivyo ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba any word that comes from your mouth hata kama ni umekasirika hata kama you are so excited lazima tuwe kiafu what kind of a word that comes in our mouth bwana wetu asiye sana an attitude of saying if the lord is pleased with me if the lord is pleased with me ikiwa bwana inampendeza yale ambao bwana amenipa maono juu yake ahadi ya bazo bwana amezitoa juu yangu hayo bwana ninaamini atatimia bwana wetu asiye sana hata kama itachukua muda gani kile ambacho nacho kijua na nacho kiamini na msingi ambao nimesimama juu yake ni yakoba ikiwa bwana imempendeza surely that will come to pass in the book of Joshua chapter 15 14 
which is also a combination of the same same attitude an attitude of saying if the lord is pleased with me in the, in, the, in the book of Joshua chapter 14 ni pali ambapo wa, wamefika katika nchi ya, ya hadi na sasa sasa ni kugawana mashamba na kuambiwa kwamba we ukae pande hii we ukae pande hii but uh, the portion of scripture from verse 6 up to 15 ni it's a conversation between Joshua and Caleb na namwambia namna gani wewe ni wewe una uhakika na wewe unimshahidi ya kwamba tulipokuwa katika Kadesh Barnea mtumishi wa Bwana kuna maneno ambayo alinenewa Musa na akamwambia kwamba tutakapo enda katika nchi ya hadi milima ya Ifraimu hiyo ndio itakayo kuwa urithi wangu Bwana yetu asifiwe sana. Na anasema ya kwamba maneno yale yaliyonenwa masikioni mwako na Bwana alipokuwa kimnenea Musa at Kadesh Barnea siku ya leo ningependa uyatimize. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu siku ya leo Bwana amenibeba for the last 45 years mkono wa Bwana umenibeba, umenisaidia na siku ya leo hata kama ni mimi umri wangu umesonga sana, mimi niko na miaka 88, mimi anasema ya kwamba I am still strong. I am still vigorous. Nierekeze katika shamba hili la milima ya Ephraim nikaende kuimiliki. Bwana wetu wasio sana. Lakini anasema ya kwamba Vasori anasema ya kwamba now give me this hill country that the Lord promised me that day. Ni penchi hii ya milima abayo Bwana aliniahidi wakati ambapo tulipokuwa Kadesh Barnea alina aliniahidi 45 years ago na anabizina akamwambia kwamba you yourself hata wewe ulisikia you yourself heard then that the anakites ulisikia kwa hivyo wana wa anaki hawakufika katika nchi ile ambayo wa, karibu anasema apewe wakati ambapo wamefika katika nchi ya hadi raasha hata wakati maneno haya yanaponenwa at Kadesh Barnea ni mani kuzea ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba the anakites were there in that hill country ambayo if uh, Kareb anasema ya kwamba ni milikishe the anakites were there and even their cities Waraj and fortified. Bwana wetu wasikia sana. They were raj and fortified. Lakini kuna neno ambalo anamelisema hapo, but the Lord helping me, which is very key. But the Lord helping me, I will drive them out just as he said. But the Lord helping me. Katika changa moto yote ambao unao yona, na katika hali zozoto unazo zitazama, na unaona kana kwamba hawezi ukaingia, hawezi ukamiliki, hawezi ukashida, hawezi ukaweza kufa, kufanikiwa katika maeneo yale, if the Lord, if, uh, but the Lord helping you, you can. Wana yetu wasia sana. That is the attitude that we need to cultivate. Bwana akinisaidia. Na Bwana akinisaidia ndio ninafahamu ya kwamba nchi hiyo hata kama ni ya milima wana wanaki wako pale na maji ya mami, na miji yao imejengwa vizuri na imedhibitika vizuri na ninafahamu hivyo na wana wanaki ni watu wakubwa wako na kimo kikubwa lakini hata kama ni hivyo kile ambacho ninachokisema ni kwamba ikiwa Bwana Bwana akinisaidia nitawaondoa Bwana wetu wasia sana Bwana akinisaidia Bwana akinisaidia by the Lord helping me, I will drive them out just as He said. Kwa hivyo nivema kufahamu ya kwamba, hali ambayo unayo umeyombea for the last year 25 years, sijui miaka ngapi, na hali ambayo unahisi kana kwamba ni kara moto umerikanyanga, li nakuchoma, unaujuliza kama mtu wabao, kama Daudi, je buwana, nitakuita mpakalini, utanisahao mirele na mnagani, nivema kufahamu ya kwamba, maeneo yale, buwana haki kusaidia, ukona uwezo wa kuingia, buwana haki kusaidia, hata kumirikisha, buwana haki kusaidia, hata kufungulia milango, buwana haki kusaidia, hata kupa ushindi, nivema kufahamu kama ya kwamba ikiwa ni bwana tunawe mtegemea tutaingia tutafika bwana tuwasie sana tutafika just tell yourself you will get there you will get there haijarishi ni miaka bigapi but the bottom line is i will get there bwana tuwasie sana if the lord is pleased with me i will get there 
If the Lord ikiwa ulikuwa na wibo mwingine ndugu na dada yangu mwibo wa kushidwa wimbo wa kutofika katika maeneo na marengo na na makusudi na, na makusudi ya Bwana na katika ushindi ikiwa ulikuwa na taarifa nyingine ukiingia katika ja, katika madhabahu ya siku ya leo ningependa na ningekuomba uondoke na taarifa ya kwamba Bwana akipendezwa nani ataniingiza Bwana akinisaidia nitaingia kwa sababu ya neema ya bwana. Bwana ambao imenibeba Bwana mimi nitaingia Bwana wetu asiwe sana Why? Kwa sababu Bwana ni mwaminifu Bwana ni mwaminifu Irrespective of the church Unajua tu kwa uh, at the end of the year na ni wakati ambapo watu wanatazamaga kile kijikaratasi waliandika January resolution na hajafa nini hajakamilika Jambo hilo linaingia linafanya watu wengi waingiwe na discouragement anxiety distress lakini bwana ikimpendeza but you must also remember the appointed time the appointed yes when the time has fully come kwa hivyo ni vema kufahamu kwamba tunapoendelea katika nafasi hii ya kumsubiri bwana katika hali yoyote ile we must cultivate those attitudes the attitude of righteousness utaua the attitude of saying let your will be done o god the attitude of seeking the grace of god the attitude of saying if the lord is pleased with us the attitude of saying lord helping me i will conquer bwana wetu asiye sana lord helping me i will conquer na nivemba kufahamu kwamba ndugu na dada yangu ujihadhari na negative voices negative wana wa Israeli hawakuwa wa, 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 in the book of numbers chapter 14 wote hawakuwa uh, hawa, sio wote walikuwa wameenda kwenda kupeleleza nchi ah uh-uh, ni watu kumi na wawili na kumi peke yake wakakuja na negative report ambayo iliadhiri taifa lote la wana wa Israeli kwa hivyo ni kusema ya kwamba unapopatana na mtu mmoja ambaye ana his a carrier of a negative thought a negative mind ni kusema ya kwamba hata wewe kuna uwezekano ukaathirika. Kwa hivyo ni vema kufahamu ya kwamba wewe na mimi lazima be, be very intentional ni akina nani tunakutana na wao. Ni akina nani tunatangamana na wao. Kwa sababu watu hawa in the book of numbers chapter 14 walilalamika na wakajitwaria rana kwa sababu ya taarifa walioisikia. Kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba let us our t- attitude B by the grace of God. Siku baada ya nyingine naomba Bwana anipe neema. Siku baada ya nyingine naomba mnamwambia Bwana let your will be done. Siku baada ya nyingine ninatafuta kuishi maisha ambayo ni ya utakatifu, maisha ambayo ni ya utewa. Siku baada ya nyingine ninasema ya kwamba uh, Bwana akipendezwa nami nitaingia. Bwana akinisaidia nitafika. Bwana wetu asiye sana. Utafika mwabie jirani yako utafika utafika haijarishi but the bottom line is we shall be we shall get there mungu wa na wabariki sana hapa mkaribisha mchungaji amen amen tusimame tunapomshukuru